guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner, the original one as well as the newer unscented one. Now I know this is not the bottle for the unscented version, but I went on vacation and I wanted to bring some with me so I transferred some into this bottle and then I gave the actual bottle to my sister to test out. So for today this is all I have to show you for the unscented version. But just know that I have been using both for, I'd say, nearly a month now. So let's start by talking about the original toner. Now this has been around for years, and it is such a popular toner, and for so many people, it's actually like holy grail status. And according to Claire's, key ingredients include Fido Oligo, which helps to moisturize the skin, and it also helps with dryness. It also contains wheat amino acids to help reduce inflammation and the various plant extracts like Centella Asiatica extract and licorice root extract to soothe and brighten the skin. This also contains a blend of six essential oils to calm, soothe, and hydrate the skin. Straight out of the bottle, it has a runny texture, not quite as thin as water, but definitely not as thick as oil. It spreads easily and absorbs relatively quickly, and one layer leaves the skin very soft and moisturized. It also has kind of a herby, florally scent that to me I find quite pleasing. This toner also claims to help balance your skin's pH level. It's supposed to prolong hydration for up to 20% compared to if you were to use a different toner and it's supposed to help your products absorb better. So the only difference between the original version versus the unscented version is that the original version contains a blend of six essential oils, so consistency-wise it's a little bit thicker. But it's not really noticeable until you apply both to the face. I know that the use of essential oils in skincare is such a controversial topic, some people love it, but other people have really sensitive skin and their skin can't handle that. So that's why Claire's came out with this unscented version that has zero essential oils. That's literally the only difference between the two. Also, even though this is supposed to be unscented, I find that it smells a bit chemically almost because I think that by removing the essential oils and the fragrance that comes with it, what's left is the smell of the remaining ingredients. So <laughs> something to keep in mind. I actually prefer the scent of the original one for this reason. I got both at the same time and I actually tried the original one first for an entire week. It's really easy to use, I use it day and night right after I wash my face. Before I apply any other products, I go straight in with a few drops of this, then I pat it all over my face until it's completely absorbed, then I do the whole thing three more times. I layer it on four times because my skin is really dehydrated at the moment and I want to make sure that I'm adding enough hydration to my skin. I find that if I do this, my face feels hydrated all day and I don't experience that tight, uncomfortable feeling. Now that it's getting colder, my skin has changed from being oily to dehydrated and my skin just loves this. It absorbs it really quickly but it still leaves like a slight moisturized layer on my skin and that's what I need my skincare to do for me. I need that slightly sticky layer to stay on all day so that I know my skin is being hydrated and moisturized throughout the day. The second week I decided to try the unscented version and I used it the exact same way I layered it on four times and I noticed that my skin would absorb it a lot quicker and a few hours later my skin would be dry to the touch again. Not as dry as it would have been if I didn't use a toner at all but definitely not anywhere near as moisturized as my skin felt if I used the original version. So on week number three, I used them both at the same time. I used the original version on the right side of my face and then the newer unscented version on the left side of my face. And that's, it was during this week that I realized that my skin liked the original one a lot more because the right side of my face would feel moisturized all day. When I woke up after a full night's sleep, it would still be slightly tacky and the dry areas around my face were reduced, but on the left side of my face where I used the unscented version, my skin felt dry as the day progressed. When I woke up in the morning, my skin felt dry to the touch and the dryness around my nose wasn't reduced at all. So after four days of testing both, I actually just stopped and started just using this all over my face again because then I knew that my skin just liked the essential oils. But as much as this has helped my dehydrated skin, I haven't noticed any difference in the brightness of my skin, like the acne scars and stuff, they're still the same. So if you were looking into this product 
for that very reason because you were interested in like brightening up some hyperpigmentation or acne scars then <laughs> I would actually look somewhere else because yeah, this didn't do any brightening for me. Also, I really like this now because the air is so dry, but I have a feeling that once summer hits and my skin is back to being oily, I'm gonna like this one more because it is a lot more lightweight. So which one should you get? I would say that you should get the unscented version if you have really sensitive skin and you know your skin doesn't like essential oils, if you're sensitive to fragrance, if you don't like a slightly tacky finish, or if you live in a hot and humid country. The regular version would be good for anyone whose skin loves essential oils, anyone who needs that moisturized, slightly tacky layer to protect their skin all day, or those with a dry or dehydrated skin type. If you have normal skin, either one would work for you, so it would all depend on whether or not you want to try the one with essential oils or the one without it. Here in Canada, this retails for $22 to $24 Canadian for a 180 ml bottle, which I think is a fair price because honestly, this will last me quite a while. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, go ahead and leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week.